Hi, I'm Jerry Tarkovsky, and in this video, I'll show you how to create that filmic look using a shallow depth of field. Now, you won't need a special camera, you won't need a DLSR, in fact, you won't need any special lenses. You can use the camcorder that you use right now, or even a smartphone can do the trick. Now, the secret is we'll be using a special tool that comes with a lot of video editing software packages, and I'll be using the Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, you may be asking, what exactly is a shallow depth of field? Well, rather than me explaining it to you, let me just show you. Okay, that is a shallow depth of field. It allows you to let the audience focus in on exactly what you want them to focus on. And I'll show you how to do it right after this. Okay, let's get going. We're going to open our video editing software and I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro and you can use any video editing software as long as you have some visual effects. We're going to open up the video clip on the timeline and we'll just play it there. And you can see that everything is pretty much in focus. So the foreground and the background is all in focus. So we'll just uh, send that back there. Now, what we're going to do is look for video effects over here. And you want to look for blurs. There's many different types of blurs. The camera blur is good for action shots, but we're going to use the Gaussian blur there. So just put that onto the clip. There it is there. We're looking at the effects and um, we, can, we can just decide on how much blurriness we actually want. So it might be just a very subtle, or you can go right across there. Now, of course, you notice that when I blur the video clip, of course, everything is blurred. And we want the foreground, which is us or me at the moment. Uh, so we need to cut that out. So we've got some tools here. We just use the pen tool. And all I, can do, all I need to do is just cut around. It doesn't need to be too accurate. But let's cut around the body shape and this is pretty much if you do if you use photoshop it's uh, you'll be very familiar with this technique and it's just creating a mask around the foreground there we go and now when we create the blurriness you'll find the blurriness actually happens inside the mask so all we do is click on the inverted here done okay so there it is there. Now all we need to do now is just soften the the edges here. So it's a very sharp difference between the blur and the non-blur part. So we use the mask feather and we just sort of increase that a little bit so it's a more gradual uh, blur there. Let's play the clip. So there it is there. Um, you may say, well, that's a bit too blurry. So all we need to do is just reduce the blurriness a little bit, just make it more subtle. So a softer blur there, and uh, there it is. So you have there the foreground in focus, the background slightly out of focus, and that creates the depth of field. It's as simple as that. If you would like to kickstart your video marketing, then join me on a free three-day video bootcamp where you will learn everything about video strategy, video production tips, and video SEO. Just click the green button and start right now. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues, and I would absolutely love it if you subscribe to my channel. This is Jerry Tukoski. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye for now.